And yeah, you two will walk with him just to make sure he's not going to fall over or anything. Yeah, he's just kind of like stumbling a little and but he's he's okay. You yeah, can get him over say, there. Yeah, you two kind of keeps a hand like every time he stumbles he kind of puts it out like, "Ah, don't fall." Oh, okay, don't fall. Don't fall. I feel like I feel like an old I feel like an old grandpa. That's good. That's a good You're feeling. Not... Okay. <laughs> and he goes, "No, nah, man, you just you had a bit to drink. That flask is a good that's a good size one, I'm sure." Oh, it's fine. I was thinking of letting my hair maybe just go gray and I'd be the do the silver fox thing. I think people like that. Do they like that? Yeah, man, plenty of people look good silver. Some people actually dye their hair silver on purpose. Really? All right. It looks like I'll, for once, be able to catch up on a trend. Nice. You just kind of smiles at him and just goes, yeah, man, you're ahead of the curve already. That's me, old Jason, ahead of the curve valley. Uh, He kind of, like, just looks down for a moment and his eyes close. You two will take his hands and kind of shift him a little towards the house and just goes, actually, you know what? Maybe the fire isn't the best for you. Let's, let's actually head inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was, that was my plan. Yeah. yeah. Let's get you to bed. That was also the plan. <laughs> and you two just kind of goes, yep, bud. All right. You know, so you're going to, if you help Jason yeah. to bed, uh, he is, he is pretty much out of it. So he's like, asleep. He's asleep with his shoes on tired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tired. Yeah. Like Clark Kent, but if Clark Kent were a baby, he just is asleep, dressed in his his shirt and his glasses. And he is asleep. He'll he'll just he'll just pass right out. He's a uh, kind of a lightweight, despite the fact that he had a a flask on him. It seemed to be for emergency purposes. And this is all one big emergency. Um, you two's gonna take his glasses and shoes off and put them on the nearest table or whatever, so he doesn't sleep on them and mess them up. All right. Well, there you go. You've, you've, you've successfully secured have, the I Jason. Have, <laughs> I have defeated the Jason puzzle. Yeah, the uh, the J- the boss has been defeated. The wolves yep. are gone. All they needed was a good night's sleep. You, need, you, you require one soul of Jason Valley that you can take to a blacksmith and get a Jason yeah, Valley themed weapon. Jason, I guess um, the Jason Moby skin. Yeah. So I guess we can we can say that you at, at some point would have gone to bed, and now you have additional information then we move on to the next day where you want what did you in in the order that you wanted to do them what did you want to do um yeah i wanted to visit the hospital or like a doctor's office i wanted to get you two tested to see if he has any underlying genetic disorders like the the six other victims of the previous wolf attacks if you go into the hospital and you ask about underlying genetic conditions the first thing that the doctor who sees you would ask. I don't have a generic doctor token, but you can assume it just it's be, you know, the girl. usual. Yeah, nice night. Like everybody generally in this sort of job, like nicely groomed and they're like, they're wearing pretty nice clothes and everyone, everyone has that sort of weird TV show aesthetic to them on the moon. Like everyone's very presentable kind of at all times with the rare exception of occasionally like a grubby earth person. No offense, grubby earth people. The doctor kind of just smiles with big teeth. Oh, what do you need to know about that for? What do you need to know about your, um, Wait, is is there uh, is there something wrong? Have you uh, have you experienced uh, something that you'd uh, like to uh, you'd like to investigate or uh, um, what do you, uh, what's no, the deal? Nothing. Um, nothing Good. Okay, I'll see you later. And he just kind of wait. Are you? <laughs> no. Yes. Well, my and you two kind of stops for pauses for a second. He goes, "Well, my my uncle's from Earth, and he he recently came sick with something, and they said it was a genetic disorder, and so my." dad's also from earth and he's getting tested and i just wanted to get tested as well just to make sure i didn't have it all right let's take a look at your profile here uh you two how how rich are your parents one of them is an electrician but i don't know what the other one does so like middle class ish yeah i would say whatever the moon middle class is okay it says here you got the uh yeah you're a tier three should be screened for all the really deadly uh really deadly conditions uh what is it that was it what is it that uh your uncle had and you two just kind of kind of blanks and just goes um they didn't say they just they just said that he's he just got sick recently he's still on earth so i don't know if the message i, I see kind of got I, I'm, I'm sorry i can't I, be I, more specific i think i think i know exactly what you're suffering from yeah it's a case of the horse hockey you're Dang. you're you're what? bull you're bullying me right now what is it what kind of pills do you want huh and you, you just kind of goes what no i just i just want to get a, a screening just, done Got throw a couple new bucks my way. I won't ask any questions. 
I don't need anything, but th- thank you. All right, this conversation never happened. And if you say it did, I'll sue you. <laughs> you just stares at the doctor and is just like, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. Just can you run the screening or not? Yeah, I guess I can. Uh, seems really weird. Are you sure you're not like a hypochondriac or something? No, I mean, I don't think so. Okay. Well, you know, with tier three, uh, tier three births and health profiles, we, we get out all the major stuff, you know, uh, predisposition to 99.9% of cancers that does leave uh, ear. But, you know, that one's a toughie. You don't look like you're uh, you don't look like you have that one. Uh, pretty sure. Yeah, we'll run the test. No problem. You mind just waiting here for a bit while we uh, run your uh, profile and everything and your and your health history and uh, going to need a couple samples from you, of course. And, uh, you know, I might have to uh, do a bit of a little bit of a biopsy. Is that is that OK with you? Yeah, that's fine. I got nothing but time today. Great. OK, you just wait right here and I'm going to have a nurse come in. She's going to have some syringes and she's going to have a, um, no, no judgments, a lollipop in case you don't like the needles. And you, you two thinks about the nurse that tried to murder him as of yesterday and is just like, uh, I mean, I'm so so, I guess, as long as they aren't trying to kill me. And he just gonna, ha, 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 ha. Oh, yeah, that's I knew you were familiar. You're the crazy guy that was all whacked out on goofballs. What? what are you yeah, we, we, the footage, we got footage of you running around being crazy. I guess you were off your meds or, I mean, I, I looked at your profile, didn't say you had any kind of mental disorder. And you two just kind of gets really sullen and just goes, oh, um, yeah, yesterday was, uh, that was a wild day. Well, I mean, the only reason you're here is because you weren't flagged as being a dangerous criminal. So I guess it was just some kind of crazy mistake or something. Maybe you're a rock star and I didn't recognize you. You know how they act. <laughs> And you just kind of, yeah, that's rock and roll lifestyle. In which case, leans forward a little. I mean, my offer still stands. You just slide me a couple new bucks and get you some, get you some buzzies, get you some roots, get you some, you know, cheesies. You know, you like cheesies? I can get you some cheesies. No, I'm, I'm good, man. I just want the screening, please. Got the okay, 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 okay. Because if you're buying from someone else, I can do better. I'll be right back. And he kind of, you know, makes his way out the door. <laughs> The nurses that come in after he uh, leaves shortly after, they're not murderous. They're pretty normal. So you got that going for you. And as he mentioned, biopsy, they do need to take like a little bit of like tissue from the inside of your cheek. The process is relatively painless. I mean, it's uncomfortable, but painless. Uh, They also take blood samples and they need a urine sample and like uh, a hair sample and things like that. It takes like a couple hours, but he comes back in afterwards. Not a couple hours. We'll say, yeah, maybe two hours. But he come he comes back into the room after everything's done. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, well, it's like I thought. Tier three, kinda almost all of it. Uh, you do have a little bit of a problem, I think. Maybe when you hit your fifties, uh, I think your gums are gonna recede a little, and you might have a little joint pain. But those are all pretty treatable, very easily, actually. So, I mean, that's mostly just for fluff. That's you know, it's just it's pretty much nothing. Yep, you're pretty clean, I'd say. You good work as usual by our uh, prenatal technicians. And you two just kind of nods a little and just goes, yeah, okay. Thanks. Thanks, Doc. Sorry there was, for taking there, every time. There was one thing that I wanted to ask. Yeah, what's what's up? Are you related to anyone famous? You two just kind of shakes his head and just goes, no, I mean, I, my parents are just, you know, they're regular workers. Nobody. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I was just looking at your profile and I could have sworn you were a tier three, but it turns out you're a tier one, which first of all, that's pretty expensive. And second of all, I don't know. It's just a little, you don't look like a tier one kind of guy. No offense. Uh, yeah. You two again, just kind of shakes his head and just goes, I don't, maybe it's a system thing. I don't. It's gotta be. It's yeah. gotta be. Yeah. Yes. You don't, yeah. You don't, you don't have that much money. Yeah. And you just, I can look at you and tell. And he just goes, yep. You're a real great judge of character, but all right, well, I'll see ya. And just, he starts to leave. Okay. Well, you know, just come back and see me. I'm, I'm the one they call Dr. Feel good. I'm the one that'll make you feel all right. You know what I mean? You two, you two just kind of, yeah. As he's down the hallway, just. I'm okay. in real deep to some bad people. You two's already out of your shot. Uh, As you are like leaving and out of shot, a very large, (laughs) threatening man does push the doctor back into the room. Get in there! Um, Oh no, it's the other mof, the other mafia. It's just the one. So yeah, there you got your test. It turns out that you actually have a cleaner bill of health than you realized. I guess pretty good. So 
the tiers, how they work is pre, uh, during prenatal care, everyone is given like a tier that they're for determining how much like gene editing they get. Tiers uh, three and four are kind of like the kind of lower middle class to middle class. Tier two is what you'd expect for like very upper class. Tier one is for the pretty much mega wealthy. The people who have tier one prenatal care are like the executives of ELO and anyone who has like almost as much money 